well my dear students the course is labor policy of pakistan and the topic is marxism marx is of the view that the consciousness of those who earn a wage or salary would be modeled by their conditions of wage slavery leading to a tendency to seek their freedom or emancipation by overthrowing ownership of the means of production by capitalists and consequently overthrowing the state that upheld this economic order my dear students for marx conditions determine consciousness and ending the role of the capitalist class leads eventually to a class less society in which the state would wither away now let's move on to discuss the point of view of marx that the marxist conception of socialism is that of a specific historical phase that would displace capitalism and precede communism dear students the major characteristics of socialism are that the proletariat would control the means of production through a workers state erected by the workers in their interests economic activity would still be organized through the use of incentive systems and social classes would still exist but to a lesser and diminishing extent than under capitalism my dear students for orthodox marxists socialism is the lower stage of communism based on the principle of from each according to his ability to each according to his contribution while upper stage communism is based on the principle of from each according to his ability to each according to his need the upper stage becoming possible only after the socialist stage further develops economic efficiency and the automation of production has led to a super abundance of goods and services marx also argues that the material productive forces brought into existence by capitalism predicted a cooperative society since production had become a mass social collective activity of the working class to create commodities but with private ownership production or property creates little bit relatively lesser value this conflict between collective effort in large factory and private ownership would lead to a revolution hope you have understood the topic thank you very much